Yeah, good morning, uh, Amr. Thank you for joining this interview with Middle East News 247. First of all, can you tell us what CERCO is doing in terms of space in the Middle East region? Sure. Great question. Thank you, Arnold. CERCO, as a business globally, we have been operating in the space sector now for over 40 years with uh, global personnel of 2,000 strong. We are, we've recently established our space division in the Middle East, uh, headquartered out of Saudi Arabia, but also with a strong emphasis on the UAE market. And we are uh, growing our services uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Everything from providing uh, opportunities to exploit data, so data management ecosystems uh, from satellites that can be utilized on the ground for no numerous different applications, all the way through to satellite operations and uh, the provision of expertise. Uh, we are act as a service integrator uh, in the space sector, so we, we tend to partner up with technology providers. What aspects of the Middle East region appeals to CERCO in terms of the space industry? So the space industry in the Middle East is hugely ambitious. Uh, the UAE has been operating in the space sector now for uh, a couple of decades and have a fairly established uh, uh, sector. Uh, but they are on now a continued trajectory of growth uh, with a heavy focus on commercialization of services. And we feel that we can act, uh, we can have a role to play within this ecosystem, um, positioning our services and localizing those services within, within the UAE to support the UAE government with their ambitious space program that they've established, but also to help operationalize services that they, are, that they will begin to deploy in, in, in the near term. The Saudi market, on the other hand, is uh, quite a young market. They also will have a very ambitious space program uh, soon to be established, and we expect to see a quite uh, diverse range of space capabilities established within Saudi Arabia. Everything from potentially establishing launch capabilities through to satellite manufacturing, all the way through to the downstream sector, which uh, pertains to the exploitation, utilization, and management of satellite data. As, at Circa, we have an impact across the space value chain, so we can provide expertise um, that supports satellite manufacturers or satellite manufacturing, um, all the way through to solutions and services that can enable um, the deployment of, of downstream data services. Uh, so we hope to have a role to play across this ecosystem, both within Saudi Arabia and the UAE. Of course, there are also other agencies, that, um, um, such as um, based in Oman and Bahrain, who also have strong space uh, ambitions, and we will look to explore how best we, we can fit within that ecosystem on the whole. As the private and the public uh, space industry grows in the Middle East region, what are the challenges being faced by the players in this market? So the government in, in this region is hugely ambitious. The government are the ones that typically tend to drive innovation and drive uh, the agenda. Within the, uh, public, within the private sector, uh, we need to ensure that we have the right partnerships in place to support the government agenda. And we need to ensure that we deliver services locally. I think there are multitudes of different challenges um, that, that we face. One is ensuring that we, we bring in our capabilities to lo and localize those capabilities within the region. Uh, the second is actually ensuring that these capabilities are nationalized and, and delivered by uh, nationals, be it Emiratis or, or Saudis. Uh, this, the, the skill, the talent pool within this region is still a growing um, talent pool. Um, so there, there does need to be a bit of a transition towards um, creating a sustainable talent ecosystem driven by the local community going forward. And that's something at Circle where we are looking to support with through the launch of our space graduate program, but other, other training initiatives that we are engaging with across, across the Middle Eastern market. Looking at the space sector in general, should it be a case of increased cooperation or increased competition? For example, back in the day when the Russian and the US space program took place, those two countries really moved the space industry. And today, China is, for example, has a space program on its own that the rest of the world doesn't know of. But again, coming back to the question, should there be a greater cooperation between space players or should there be increased competition? It's an interesting question. I mean, if you didn't have co uh, competition, then really uh, you wouldn't necessarily need to innovate uh, more and, and you wouldn't be challenged to do better. So I think competition is definitely needed in the market. That being said, uh, in order to meet the objectives of, of the space sector, in order to provide the best services across the sector for government and public and private sector alike, there does need to be increased uh, cooperation. So actually, I, I would probably say without cooperation, we probably wouldn't have uh, um, sufficient opportunities to also um, compete. There are enough actors in, in the sector to, um, to establish uh, a competitive landscape, but at the same time, there also needs to be enough, um, enough actors that can collaborate and ensure that the services we provide, be it technology all the way through to service provision, um, uh, sufficiently meet the needs of our, of our end users and customers in the market, government or, or private sector. 
Does CERCO work with uh, academia in the Middle East region in terms of knowledge transfer? We are we we do work with uh, academia. I would say not so much in the space sector currently, but across the different re um, uh, different industries that we operate in. Part of what I'm looking to establish is these uh, strengthened relationships with academia, um, uh, helping uh, academia with the programs that they're delivering to the students, um, also providing opportunities for those students within um, Circo services and contracts to support um, the oper oper operationalization of space skills. So part of what um, my remit and my agenda is, is to build those relationships up uh, across the uh, both the UAE academic ecosystem, but also the Saudi academic ecosystem. And I think this is really where the beginning of innovation takes place as well. Uh, academia is, is, is uh, uh, a nice test bed for for new ideas for new innovation and if uh, at circle we uh, can also help influence the direction of those uh, that innovation through academia then this also helps us deliver better services at the end to the customers that we work with from a revenue generation perspective how important is the middle east region to circle in terms of the space sector uh, space is is uh, one of our top priorities that we've established uh, in our in our strategy going forward for the next five years um, at the very least. Globally, the space is, is also uh, established as a core market and core priority area for Circo. I would say uh, we've only launched our division uh, at the early part of this year, so we're still in a period of discovery and and, and realization of what the market um, offers for us. Um, but I uh, I have very ambitious plans for 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 our division and I hope that space can be a leading contributor to our, our revenue growth over the next five years. Thank you very much, Amir, for joining in this interview. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you, Arnold.